Yes, I think we're working again. Oh, <laughs> good evening. Welcome to my daily broadcast. A little bit later today because Facebook was having a fit today. So a little bit later than usual. This is episode number 650. The topic today is, um, do you focus on your good or do you focus on your bad? And I'll break that down in particularly area of relationships because that's one of those insidious places where this happens. But before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. Now I can remember what I do. <laughs> Weird day. And uh, we'll get started. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. Because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which also inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is what the MFTM abbreviation sort of stands for. And today we're episode number 650. And the topic today is a little bit of a juicy one, although I'll break it down pretty simply, which is, do you focus on your good or do you focus on your bad? And in parentheses, or in brackets, or in quotes, parentheses, um, this is going to be more relationship relevant than out of the areas of your life. Well, it can come in handy in other areas of your life too. It sounds simple to say, do you focus on your good or focus on your bad? However, most people, most people I know about especially, have a bad habit of forgetting what they're thinking. <laughs> and forgetting what they're saying sometimes. And I mean forgetting in the sense that they're not keeping an eye on stuff, we're not monitoring our own self-talk. And one of the biggest things I've learned over the years in, one of the, in, in my own training and learning and, and study, and I'm still learning it, is how to self-monitor. Especially when you're not practiced at affirming good stuff only. It's easy to say, well, you know, I'll, I'll affirm everything I want if it's going to be great. But if you do have affirmations, since I'm talking about affirming, if you have affirmations that you say once a day, but the rest of the day you're picking them apart and judging them and, and justifying all the reasons why you can't have what you think you want, then it isn't going to have much effect. And basically, if you focus on one good thing, but then spend the rest of the day complaining about the negativity and the things you don't have. So for example, say you're focusing on a new job, but you hate your old one. So you're affirming, I love the new job I'm doing, I'm grateful, I'm enjoying it every moment, and you're saying it in the present tense, which is the right way of doing it. However, you spend the rest of the day bitching a moment about the job you, you have right now, which sucks. So, hi Adriana, nice to see you my broadcast, it's been a while. Um, then you're basically negating the possibility of having good things happen. Now, a couple of things I'll give you is, is technical stuff. And by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, it was Facebook Live first, which is why I just interacted with somebody you didn't see. <laughs> my friend Adriana, who dropped into my broadcast. So, and that's why also I'm doing a live broadcast, because Facebook only finally let, let me go live again. Um, about, well, last time I checked was about 20 minutes ago, so I thought I'll just do one tonight. Because usually I go at 5 p.m. Pacific time, in case you're wondering when you see me normally. However, Facebook was glitching all the way through. Now I'm back online, it seems to be working, so grateful for that. One of the things I want to say about this negative positive stuff or from good versus bad, there isn't, it, 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 the good news is there isn't a one-to-one -one correlation. The good news in fact is that one positive thought not uh, counterbalances many, many, many negative thoughts, but don't rely on that. Focusing on the good, the more you focus on the good, the more accelerated it will be. That's why when you affirm good things, they happen more quickly because the power of positivity is really powerful. And I don't mean Pollyanna, by the way. I'm not going to go Pollyanna on this. Focusing on the good is a key thing. Now, let me bring into relationship for a moment since that's my area of speciality. You probably aren't this person, but you probably know somebody who is, who is cons consistently, when they're single, judging themselves as not being deserving of the love they want. They compare themselves unfavorably with the sort of person they want to be with. Perpetually, and consistently, and repeatedly. Again, not you, but somebody you might know. So the trap they fall into is when they meet somebody who could be a possible match, that on a true, if you could look from a third, pers third person perspective and see them side by side, go, they're a good match. Internally they're going, oh, they're too good for me, I can't have that, That's not, I don't deserve it, all this sort of languaging that they do. Again, not you, somebody you know. The reality of this, I should say the experience of this, is that that person, whoever that person is, will keep shooting themselves in the foot, metaphorically speaking. 
They'll keep finding ways to avoid meeting somebody nice because they don't think they deserve it. The funny thing is, it's only in their head that that's not true. The truth is, in reality, they do deserve it. In fact, the person who they may be meeting is absolutely wishing they could be with them. But because, that, because, the, the, because they, this person, is judging themselves not worthy of it, they'll cut off any possibility of that. You've had experienced that yourself in your life? And somebody you know, of course, not yourself. But this is one of those traps we fall into, is that we look at relationships and we compare, and this is the thing that's so trippy. In the straight relationship paradigm, which I'm talking about here, as I've talked about many, many times, men and women are very different. Physiologi physiologically speaking and also energetically. So when you compare yourself against somebody of the opposite sex, you're comparing apples to oranges, so to speak. So to judge yourself as not being worthy of somebody else of the opposite sex, you can't do that. No, 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 that's not true, you can do that. But you, it doesn't work to do that. Because the thing is you're comparing, again, apples to oranges, there's no comparison. You're both human, yes, and yes, maybe you want to compare on the internal stuff. So maybe you want to say, okay, then I'm looking for somebody who's going to have the same values I do. That's totally fine. But when you judge through the lens of appearance, you judge through the lens of presentation, you're actually presuming a lot more about the person that's real than, it, than is actually true. And it's a mistaken approach. Who you are is deserving of the best in your life, as long as you're willing to believe that. And again, not me, Pollyanna, I'm talking about the truth here. Your choice points will create your reality. It's something that I'm really clear about in my coaching that is not the only thing I do, but it's a large part of my work with my clients. Another large part of my work I do with my clients is really hold the space for them to see the truth for themselves, to know that they are deserving of the best. I have to do that because I'm doing it for myself as well. So I've got to give it to my clients. <laughs> That's the way it works. So with this dance, this this... Um, arrangement of choosing relationship qualities and judging and blaming yourself or it's the person you know who thinks this way not you of course but blaming and judging themselves as not having what they want is such a false approach Adriana you just said what did you just say let me see what you said you do deserve someone wonderful we all do no more settling for an unfulfilling relationship not fair to you or to the other person exactly thank you Adriana for summarizing it so beautifully yes we all deserve someone wonderful and no more settling for unfulfilling relationships the only reason why you'd be in an unfulfilling relationship is because you don't believe you can have what you want and the thing I'm saying is it's because you don't believe you can have what you want it's all in here or in there <laughs> so to speak so my point I want to make here clearly because Adriana summed up beautifully is that none of us have to settle for bad relationships now I did talk about it in previous broadcasts this past few days about the paradigm where we choose relationships like our parents and we get wired accordingly to our pro order programming that's different from this when you're clear and conscious you can make better choices combine the two you become a powerhouse of deciding what you want so first of all get clear about what you want so secondly, get clear about the value you bring that you deserve the best. And then three, do the work inside to prepare yourself for the, that perfect relationship. It's doable, it's possible, it's within the scope. And in my coaching with my clients, this is one of the things we work on in deep way. And I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me so we can talk. Because frankly, I'm, as I say, I'm fed up with this. No, nah. I'm sad and disappointed when I watch people choose badly for themselves. And if you've been making some bad choices in the past few relationships, we need to talk. So I'll put the link in the comments for a discovery session with me, my gift to you, and we can talk about that. But the reality is you have the power to choose, always. Choice is something that's within your um, toolkit, within your toolkit. And you can decide as you wish to have what you really want, if you are willing. I think you got my point. I'm, I'm making this as clear as I can and as concise as I can because it's something that we tend to forget. So remember that you deserve the best. Hold for the space for what you want and, be, and just be possibly surprised by how good it can get when you really hold that space. If you're not getting that, we need to talk. With that, thank you for watching. This is my Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Quickly summarizing. It does go onto YouTube, so I'll give you the replay for location so you can find me. 
If you want to join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time when Facebook's working, which it wasn't today, um, you go to facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. It's my personal page where you'll see my broadcasts. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby author. You can like my, like my business page, please. I also put them onto YouTube because got to have a backup. Excuse me, that was inappropriate. Just had, had just an early dinner right before I did this, so I I'm <laughs> didn't want to rush. Um, so YouTube, my YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. And so if you subscribe to that and watch the playlist, you can watch them on YouTube or watch them on Facebook. If you watch them on Facebook, the comments will be below. And, uh, oh, thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. Yes, you, I'm glad you like my videos. They are my heart's work and ultimately they're changing the world, particularly of relationships. So that's my thing. So thank you for that, Adrian. I love it. And feel free to share it, by the way. If you know anybody who should watch this, please share it with them. It might just change their life for the better. Speaking of which, um, these broadcasts are public, so you can share them with friends you want or in groups that you belong to. If you want to watch them, comment, or make some thoughts or questions, you can put them below in the comments. And there are links attached to a lot of them of things I offer. And in this broadcast, I'm offering a link to a discovery session. That'll be in the comments for you to pick up later on once I sign off. And um, as always, my reminder to you is to take care of yourself because you do deserve the best. And with that, I'll see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time, presuming it's all stable again. And uh, take care of yourself. Bye.